And welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. We just got here at Crown Lake here at the RV Resort Park. Mr. Brown's done got a good fire started. He's fixing to, him and his friend, maybe going out and fishing just a little bit. You can see there's a few campers and RVs already here parked. During the summertime, this thing is full. And we're as close to all the... Uh, the fun stuff to do just so we wouldn't be too far you know we're walking distance of everything back behind us is a tennis court and even right here pretty close is the putt putt golf and we know grandkids love to play that so if you got a family and you want to be able to camp and keep an eye on the kids this end of the rv park is a good place to park because you can keep an eye on all the kids while they're playing. There's so much to do. And this little putt-putt golf course is so neat. And then back there is a the little, you can take your dog. They want them put, put on leash, but you can put, take them back there to the dog park. Mr. Brown's got a good fire going. We're going to sit here until after dark, and we're just going to relax. There's just something about sitting by the fire that just relaxes you. Just kind of calms you a little bit. We're going to put the canopy down. Look at the lights. Now we're just going to look at the stars and sit by the campfire for just a little bit. Of course, we're old fogies. We can't stay up too late. And here you can see the light from the camper. It's got a good-sized seating area. Two benches on both sides, and then there's storage under, and I believe there's something under here that not sure it might be the or the water stored or something I can't remember so two good benches a nice size window if you look you can see the the lake out there that's where mr. Brown is fishing in the tournament and the spot where we're at is spot number one and it's not that we need it but there's also over here is a, a small convenience store that's also where you check into the rv park and then they've got really really clean nice bathrooms and showers and they even have a laundry mat and then right here's a tennis court 
Well, you know you're not going to see Mr. Brown and me playing tennis, but it's right here. Um, and then back behind us is uh, Putt-Putt Golf. But that's just the, the spot that we chose this time. And it's close to everything. I'll show you in a little bit how close it is to, uh, of course, you can see there's the lake. But as you go across the road here, there's a lot of amenities, a lot of things for especially kids to do. It's a good place if you like to walk every morning or afternoon. You can walk and get your exercise. And also across there is where all the beautiful cabins are. So here's my setup this morning inside the camper. Since Danny's out fishing this morning, and it's so windy out there, <laughs> I'm not going to build a fire probably for a couple more hours outside because it is so windy. And I really don't want you building a campfire when it, the wind is up 20 mile an hour. So I got my cure rig that I brought along. Now, we would prefer a quartz to make campfire coffee, but that's just not going to happen this morning. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe in the morning before we leave to go home we can build us a fire out there and cook our breakfast on the campfire before we leave I love that this camper has a double sink most little campers just have one small sink this has a double so I got me some bacon cooking I'm gonna fry me an egg and make me a bacon and egg sandwich yeah, if Mr. Brown was here, we'd probably be out. He, well, I don't know. I probably wouldn't let him build a fire when it's this windy, and he probably wouldn't do it anyways. And the rules are, when the wind's up, please don't build a fire when it's real windy. This little stove, it has a really pretty good size oven. Refrigerator has a lot of room. in the freezer so you can store quite a bit in here a good microwave and storage above so I'm gonna eat me a bacon sandwich and then I'm gonna put some warm clothes on and I think I'm gonna take a walk down by the lake and they do have a beautiful beach here too by the lake that I'm going to go walk and check it out too. Okay, this is across the street from the RV park. This is up here by the restaurant and all the cabins. And we're going to walk down here to the, to the beach. It's really pretty down here. Of course, uh, you can come down here and see it. In fact, yesterday, I did see somebody down here swimming in the water. There's no way you could do it today. It's too cold. But the sand is white sand like you'd see at the beach. Soft. But it is. It's a nice little beach on the lake. And I can imagine that in the summertime this thing is full. Now this lake also has some kind of a, a, um, a water park too. Um, it's closed down right now. But it's just a pretty area. My video just doesn't do it justice, really. You have to be here and walk around to really, to really enjoy it. But I look down there and I can tell that it's going to be a wonderful place for little kids to get in the water and play. And that means a lot to me because, you know, back in my younger days when I had kids, that's always what I looked for was a good place for kids to play and swim and now I do the same for my grandkids. I always want a good place for them to swim. I always love the water. My kids love the water. My grandkids are like little ducks on the water. They just love it. But this is such a nice place. There's a little park back there here by the beach. 
I think back behind there is a couple of condos. And back through there you can see are some of the cabins back behind those trees. And we're going to come over here to the restaurant. And this is the restaurant. It's open from, I think, 11 to, I don't remember. They don't serve breakfast, but let me tell you something. They've got some really good food in there, and their pizza is wonderful. But they have got some good food in there. And if you look back there, there's some more of the log cabins back in there. And here we're walking up to the main office where you check in if you're staying at the cabins. Not for the RV part, but for the cabins. And they've got it fixed up so nice. Everything is so inviting when you come up here. There's some more of them cabins. And if you go on their website, you can you can take a tour of inside the, the cabins. There's different sizes and they're just really nice inside. You see they got pool tables, they've got an indoor pool. And there's the lake right down there. That's where Mr. Brown is. They've also got uh, a pool down by the beach, but of course it's closed too because of the time of year. So they've got two pools, an outdoor pool and an indoor pool. Or you can swim down the lake. Enjoy it. You can get on the paddle boards, the kayaks. They rent those out. And I think they rent a pontoon if you want to rent a pontoon. A really fun place for the family. Crown Point Lake Resort. We're going to walk down through here. Right through there is the indoor pool. They got all their fall decorations on the porch. Very inviting when you come up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, my, sorry about that, my finger's in the way. We're going to walk back down to the camper. You can see there's lots of spaces right now open. I'm sure because it's the weather's cooler. Right here down there at the end, that's two tiny houses that you can rent. And right here is like a convenience store, but this is where you check in if you're here to camp. So this is going into, they even have a basketball court for the kids. Right here are the bathrooms. Now we do have a bathroom and camper, but you know, some people like using the, the bathrooms that are offered. Right here is the pet pet golf. They've done an excellent job on this and they keep it so clean. They have shuffleboard, tennis, so the family can stay pretty busy here. Whether if you stay in the cabins or if you stay in the RV park, you have the same um, amenities to that's offered. Right here are the showers. They got full showers and they also have a place where you can wash clothes. But they have lots of employees here that keep this place spick and span, clean, running, um, just running a hundred percent, no problems. And you can tell that they're all always on the job keeping this place up 24-7, even on the weekend. So there's lots of places that you can pull through if you got a big uh, fifth wheel. Of course, you can see our little, <laughs> our little baby camper compared to some of them. But it's big enough for me and Mr. Brown, and we've really enjoyed it. It's a Thor. Uh, I think it's a 24 foot. I may be saying that wrong. It's a Thor uh, brand. And we're really enjoying it. 
So there you go. Just a little walk around on the resort. Here's a place you can grill. We brought our own grill. The canopy's up because the wind got up pretty bad. So we put it up so it wouldn't get tore off. So it's Sunday morning and we're sitting here eating a little bit of breakfast. We're fixing to leave out from our camping trip and Danny's fishing tournament. We got some eggs and bacon and some toast and it rained a little bit this morning. Got a little bit of rain and it is, it's cold outside. I'm watching everybody around here loves to walk. <clears throat> they walk these trails and around the RV and camping site. So what I need to be doing is walking. Anyways, Mr. Brown done pretty good yesterday in his tournament. He's going to talk to you about just a little bit. And then we're going to wrap this up, and we're going to head home. So we had this benefit tournament, and we done really well. We ended up finishing third. We missed second by two ounces and first place by four ounces of total weight. And they had a, a big benefit for these people uh, the girl's grandpa was uh, he's a big fisherman and he fishes tournaments with us a lot and had a big turnout got to meet a lot of nice people got to meet some whippoorwill holler fans and uh we uh we just went ahead and donated our part of the winnings back to the calls and it was one of the coldest fishing days I've fished in a long time, let me tell you. I'm, I left the house and didn't bring no coveralls and uh, to stay warm, so I got to shake several times yesterday. We had about some 25 mile an hour winds on the lake and it got cold, but we toughed it out and fished for eight hours. Of course, my partner, he had a big suit on, so he was fine. <clears throat> and we've enjoyed our time here camping and we hope to do it a lot more. Uh, this is a nice place up here on Crown Lake at Crown Point Resort, and I would recommend it. It's a it's a nice place. Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend, Arkansas, on Crown Point Resort. I took him around, showed him some of the amenities. <clears throat> of course, you can't show all of it, and you can't really show how pretty it is around here without just. You know, you'd about need to be on a little <laughs> uh, golf cart or something running around. They have nice cabins here, too. Very nice cabins. Oh, yeah. And if you go to the website, um, Crown Lake Resort, and then there's Crown Lake RV Resort, and they're just across the road from each other. I didn't even know it was back here as much as you fish this like for tournaments. Well, this is not real. It's not been here real long. This has just been recently put in. The, the RV part of it has not been here all that long. <clears throat> I can remember fishing and seeing them up here working. Didn't know exactly what they was doing until later. But, uh, and we're not that far from home. What, an hour if? Yeah. <clears throat> But it was nice. Good tournament for a good cause. Miss Lori planned on cooking a <laughs> campfire chili. Did you tell him that? I don't remember if I did. I thought I did. Maybe I was told him that the wind was so high that I couldn't build a fire. Yeah. And she was going to cook a big chili and a mm -hmm. Dutch uh, Dutch oven. I guess you call it Dutch them. oven. Cooking with making a pot, big thing of chili. <clears throat> um, nobody had fires going because it was too dangerous when the winds are like that. Couldn't get an even cook. And 20, 25 mile hour winds. <laughs> and all the campers and the fifth wheels and stuff, nobody had their canopy out because it would, the wind, it would get up all at once and it would rip your canopy plumb off. I think everybody's running heaters this morning. <laughs> yeah, I can hear them. Ours has been on, too. <clears throat> but we're fixing to head back to the house.
Go back home. Check on the chickens. Check them chickens. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Mr. Brown, tell everybody bye, and we'll see him in a couple of days. If the good Lord's willing, we'll do another video here in a couple of days, or at least Miss Lori will. <laughs> Been really busy at work, and... Got a new guy that's going to take my place, and he's in training. So, very good guy. And uh, I've been trying to show him the ropes and show him, been letting him work on a lot of things that so he'll understand what it takes to fix things. And it's getting ready for my retirement in December, which is, I don't think I like, but about, I don't know, 43 more work days. <laughs> I know, I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah. If everything goes good, that's the plans. Well, as a matter of fact, I then turned in my letter of resignation. So. Resignation for retirement? Yes. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we're going to... We're going to leave you all for today, and uh, we're going to leave you with this, that we're praying for the world over for all that's going through all this turmoil and prayers for the families that have lost family members and babies and children and grandma and grandpas and mom and daddies and aunts and uncles over horrific, horrific we pray, for, we pray for that evil to stop. And we pray for our country here that we all stay safe and these things do not come here to our land. I want everybody to go ahead and take precautions and, and get your your home ready. And when I say that, just make sure you got what you need to take care of your family. And we should always do that. Never take for granted that everything's just going to be there and everything's always going to be hunky-dory. We pray that it always is. But <clears throat> you just, you never know. So take care, be safe. And we'll see y'all in a couple of days. God bless everybody. <laughs>